The northeast coast of Japan was hit by a massive tsunami in March 2011. Today, five years on, the 16,000 people who died and another 3,000 people whose bodies have not been found continue to haunt some of the survivors. Hiroshi Ichikawa is a taxi driver in the city of Sendai who helped to recover bodies from the wreckage. Ever since then, he says he's been visited by the ghosts of the victims. When night falls and the light has vanished, there are ghosts wandering around this area. Unfortunately, I am able to see them. The apparitions appear when Ichikawa ventures close to the areas that were destroyed by the tsunami. Like here, where the remains of a house stand just a few meters from the water's edge. He experiences certain physical symptoms every time he believes a ghost is present. I get a headache and my heart feels heavy. I feel a kind of tingling that starts in my neck and goes all the way down to my lower back. Ichikawa is attempting to undergo an exorcism. The aim of this Shinto ceremony is to put an end to his psychic experiences and help the souls of the dead complete their journey to the afterlife. Many people have been left traumatized by the disaster. Even before the tsunami, there were people who believed they were possessed. But the number has increased dramatically since the tsunami tragedy. My goal is to ease their suffering. A large number of people in this region are being treated for psychological conditions related to the disaster. Seeing ghosts is one of the symptoms associated with post-traumatic stress disorder. One characteristic of this disaster is that many of the victims have yet to be found. This means that survivors have no sense of closure and no tangible proof can help them mourn. This affects their state of mind. Experts in northeast Japan are taking the ghost phenomenon seriously. Tohoku University has published a book featuring testimony from several taxi drivers who claim to have seen the ghosts of the tsunami dead. These days, all of the talk revolves around reconstruction. The victims no longer seem to be part of the collective consciousness. Talking about death may be taboo, but I was determined to conduct field work on this subject with the help of my students. Rebuilding the tsunami hit coastline is expected to take another five years, but healing the psychological wounds caused by the disaster will take much longer.